Greetings all, Fanny here for Virgo's Daily Oracle Message. Virgo, the first card that came out for you is Escapist. Come home to yourself. Now Virgo is being the master of hermitage and spending spending time on their own. Um, this can go into an extreme sometime. And I don't feel like that that's an issue. But I just want to let you know. Or just like, just want to warn you that make sure you're still engaging with other people outside of just yourself. But maybe you, you're needing to so that you can rewrite something. Because I love that she's holding a book that's glowing while this one is smashing a singing shell. There's so much magic in your life and in your energy. And if you have to recreate yourself, I don't think that you'll have a hard time doing that. Because... Oh yeah, you also have stars. You can manifest every wish. You are so magical, Virgo. As long as you allow yourself the rest that you need to and to process the healing that you need to go through, I don't think that there's anything you couldn't do because you have so much magic and you have so much power in yourself. Yeah, protest. Start a revolution. There is a necessary change that is going to occur in your life and in the world around you. And if you are brave enough, be a part of the voice that says you deserve sugar, not salt. You deserve peace. You deserve happiness. And I believe that's also why you have the spaceship card. Don't be afraid to sing. Don't be afraid to share your voice. And I don't believe that you are, Virgo. I believe that you're approaching the situation very tactfully, very wisely, because you've gone through so much work. You've released your guilt. You've released the shame attached to a situation. And now you can move forward wanting the best and wanting change, but not wanting it out of a place of anger, out of a place of hurt. Because that's one thing that we can go really wrong with is when we cast out of emotion, when we cast out of lack or fear or a lack-based mentality, when we think that we don't have enough, when we are just angry and in our, the depths of our emotions, emotions are very powerful and they make you choose very powerful words. So Virgo, I would say that when you are coming back to yourself, be wise with the words that you speak over yourself and over your life because you know how powerful they are. You have lavender, surround yourself with love and throne your potential is endless you also have a lot of support here you're not you are you are not alone my love you have support in almost every single one of these cards and the ones that aren't filled with people are things to do with yourself like the evil queen the escapist the villain coming home to yourself expressing yourself knowing what you deserve and the support comes in around you you will not be alone in this endeavor. Even if you feel you are alone in the physical world and you don't have anyone to walk beside you materially, metaphysically, spiritually, you have an entire army of people that are ready to work with you, ready to answer your wishes when you pray to them. Because they know what you're capable of. They know your power. And as you're coming back to figuring out that yourself, as this storm is ending, they're going to be here for you to support you, to give you back your crown, to show you your power, to show you your magic and what you can do with this world and in it. Because you are absolutely amazing, Virgo, and you deserve to have a place where your voice is heard because it's a very important one. Your perspective is one of love, is one of care, is one of truly trying to make a change that makes people feel more powerful and in control of their lives. What did I just say? Make the change. Make the change in yourself. Make the change in the world around you. It will all start with how you are thinking, how you are feeling, the mentality of it all. It's like, I can't remember who said it, but to manifest a world without war, you cannot be raised with that in your vocabulary. That's not the exact quote, but it's that kind of general energy. If you are wanting a world without war, if you are wanting a world without hate, then that's not what you need to be focusing on. You need to be focusing on the exact opposite of that and make that your everyday reality. Make that everything you want. Because that's one thing that people, yeah, weave together a crown that you deserve. That's one thing that gets people caught up when it comes to manifestations is that they think, 
like, I don't want this thing, so I have to focus and look for it so I can avoid it. But that is only bringing more of it into your life. It's like you're you're constantly being worried that, like, oh, another bill is going to come. And then it comes, and then it has, like, four friends that you were not prepared with. You manifested more work and more stress for yourself because that's what you were focusing on. And I'm not saying this to, in any way, make you feel upset or anything. I am saying this, this is your tool. This is your, your way to bring about your reality. Say it, speak it as if it is already here and spirit will make it be because people are always listening to you. People are always waiting for you to call upon their energy, your ancestors, angels, guardians, and guides. They're all waiting on you to call upon their energy so that they can bring your reality into this one. The one where you have everything. It's already yours to claim. You just have to affirm it. You just have to manifest it, Virgo. Have a beautiful day, my love.